Courtney Jacobazzi takes us back in time with our old friend Bill Powell to track the storm. Storm total rainfall, 15.63 inches. Macon follows close behind with a storm total of 12.82 inches. 25 years ago, Bill Powell described Central Georgia's record-breaking rainfall totals from Alberto. But where did it all begin? Back in mid-June, the storm formed off the coast of Africa. It fought with wind shear getting torn apart as it made its way to the Gulf of Mexico, but ultimately prevailed. On July 1st, Tropical Storm Alberto was born, making landfall near Destin, Florida on July 4th, where it quickly fell apart as it tracked towards Georgia. With little driving force and high pressure blocking to the north, the storm did its infamous loop, bringing two days of tropical downpours to Georgia. We don't need any more rain, but of course Mother Nature sees fit to give us some more. The remnants of the storm finally pushed west July 7th. And you can see the center of the circulation is now to the west of Columbus over Alabama. But rain still fell in the days to come. Now, most of what you see on radar is light to moderate rain around the immediate central Georgia area, but whether it's light, moderate, or whatever, we don't need anymore. As the Okmulgee and Flint rivers rose over their banks, leaving central Georgia with a flood for the history books. Please stay safe and stay tuned to us here at Channel 13 for the latest information. In Macon. As central Georgia struggles to cope with the floods of 94. Good night for now. Courtney Jacobazzi, 13 WMAZ News. Yeah, the Okmulgee River is said to have peaked at 35.4 inches, but Lori, get this, the gauge got swept away, and I remember oh that, so levels actually could have been even higher than that.